As we mentioned earlier, all of these technological improvements are making group working much easier to achieve. Group working has mostly developed as a result of the ability to link two or more PC-based users over conventional local and wide area networks. Every person involved sees the same data on their own PC screen. Improvements in multimedia-based communications are now enabling the use of group working technologies over networks, which makes the prospect of more flexible and dynamic external communications, say with clients, an increasing reality. Video conferencing is one important innovation in this area. One organization that's been involved with groupware and video conferencing is Teamwork. We went to their offices to find out more. Teamwork Technologies are an IT company specializing in video conferencing consultancy. We met David Ambai and Dave Hooker from PictureTel to find out more about what they do. Uh, video conferencing is about bridging communication gaps across distances. It's about uh, enabling uh, people to see each other and hear each other, as well as work with each other, regardless of the distance that exists between them. Video conferencing in the future will be deployed not only in large com corporates, but small and medium enterprises, small offices and home offices with tele-working and also by consumers. This is the same uh, flow that happened with the personal computer and this will happen with video conferencing and eventually it will become ubiquitous. Video conferencing is very simple. All you need is a PC, a camera and a card to go on the PC. I'm now going to call my colleague in another office to discuss the benefits of video conferencing. Hi, David. Hi, James. How are you doing? I'm very well, thanks. Yeah, I'm calling to discuss the um, issue that we were discussing last week about the subsidence on that building site. Yeah. And I'm wondering if um, you can uh, show me uh, some of the progress that you've experienced since last week. If I send you the still image that we were looking at last week. Ah, I see that now. Yeah, I've got it. Okay. It was really uh, this area down the bottom here that, uh, that I know that you were most concerned with. Yes, the, the, the main problem, as you remember, was the fact that we were getting subsidence in this area that I've highlighted and that the road was uh, very close to it so that it was going to cause some problems over there. Has that been resolved? Video conferencing uh, can be used in four basic ways to augment uh, uh, and support teamwork. Um, firstly, it can be used as a coordination tool where in dispersed organizations uh, you can still keep the cohesiveness that is required um, among team members because they'll be able to talk to each other more naturally, more, more, more often on an ad hoc basis. You can use it for things such as brainstorming, where you need one or more people to be there, but they are not able to be there, obviously, because they're not in the same um, location. You can also use it for troubleshooting, where you need to perhaps see as well as speak to the person that is experiencing the problem, or you need to have a look at the artifact itself, such as, for example, a building site. Some of the future developments in video conferencing are to make video communication even more natural, as though you're in the same room as the other person. And some of the meeting tools that are being developed there, for instance, whiteboards, as you're writing on the whiteboard on the wall at one, in one meeting room, then it will be occurring in the other meeting room the same, and the other person can also write. So what this is doing is making things far more natural. Another development is for camera technology, that the cameras will automatically follow the speaker, a product that Pictetel introduced recently called Limelight, automatically follows the speaker around the room. And if more than one person speaks, the camera pans out so that both people are in the frame. One of the advantages of um, video conferencing technology is, it is that it is very simple to set up and very affordable. Um, in terms of uh, getting and setting up a video conferencing system, it's a case that uh, is no more s uh, sophisticated or complicated than installing, for example, an Ethernet card or a network card or, or another sort of add-on that one has onto their um, uh, PC. In terms of uh, price point, um, the uh, video conferencing systems available today 
um, for office use probably uh, start at a price point of around £1,000. However, for home use, you can get a video conferencing system for as low as 200